Order. In accordance with the leave of the House, the House comes to questions for oral answer. And the first question is in the name of Maggie Barry. Maggie Thank Barry. you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent reports has he received on the New Zealand economy? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, earlier this week, ratings agency Standard & Poor's reaffirmed its AA foreign currency long-term rating for New Zealand. Its outlook remains stable. The said New Zealand's credit rating reflects the country's fiscal and monetary policy flexibility, economic resilience, public policy stability and a stable financial sector. As it is noted before, Standard & Poor has also commented on New Zealand's high external debt, uh, which is driven by high household and agricultural sector debt. Even so, its forecast current account deficit of around 6% by 2015, with which, which I think is too pessimistic, uh, significantly better than the 8 or 9% peak of uh, current account deficits in the three years to 2008. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What did Standard & Poor's say about New Zealand's immediate economic prospects, and what are the main sources of expected economic growth? Honourable Bill English. They said uh, Standard & Poor said New Zealand uh, will does have the benefit of a resilient and relatively high income economy, expects uh, GDP to grow at about 1.5 per cent per annum per capita over the next few years, consistent with uh, total GDP growth of 2 to 3 per cent, as we've spoken about uh, for a number of months now. Uh, growth is expected to be driven by uh, post-earthquake construction in Christchurch, as well as strong underlying demand for more residential construction in Auckland. Uh, the ratings agency notices that the government's, notes that the government's checks and balances are effective and that we're near the top of many surveys on governance, government efficiency and business promotion. Uh, however, it's clear from their commentary that our external debt position is still too large uh, and the more that we can uh, encourage and support businesses to invest in households to reduce their debt, the better for our long-term economic prospects. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Maggie Barry. To the Minister of Finance, what other reports has the Minister received on the economy? Uh, Honourable Speaker, Bill English. The New Zealand Institute of Economic Research has this week issued its quarterly predictions, which note that the New Zealand economy is recovering moderately. It notes that there are significant global risks with signs of slowing economy and financial instability in China, uh, slower growth in Australia and some emerging markets. Uh, they note that there is that optimism is spreading across businesses and consumers. However, this is uh, no recipe for complacency. Uh, clearly, with our still relatively high debt levels, uh, the need to grow our export sector, there are many challenges ahead in lifting incomes and providing more jobs. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Uh, does he agree with the NZIER report that he just quoted that on page four says of Auckland, growth in jobs has stalled, but the region is on a sugar high of rapidly rising house prices and debt? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, yes, to some extent. Uh, the Auckland housing market, as I think is well understood, has been growing faster than makes sense for a stable economy. Uh, construction, construction and houses, housing there will promote growth uh, and I would hope that the opposition will be able to support the government's measures to uh, ensure more houses on the ground more quickly in order to moderate that growth and moderate the sugar shot in the Auckland economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What reports has the Minister received on alternative approaches to managing the economy, particularly the management of the government's balance sheet to control debt? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, one measure the government has taken to control debt is the uh, partial sale of some government assets, uh, which allow us to get cash from New Zealand and mainly New Zealand investors to invest in other priority public assets. Uh, I notice there is some opposition to this policy, uh, but <clears throat> I haven't seen any reports 
that the opponents of the government share offer uh, program will actually buy back the shareholdings in the government electricity companies. I take it from that that the candidates for the Labor leadership do not actually believe the positions they are taking because they order, won't commit order. to buying them That's back. A satisfactory long enough answer. Question number two, the Honourable Bill Goff. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Foreign Affairs.